So water and wave is coming in 20 days and a lot of people doesn't know about the egg holes. And in this video I'm gonna teach you everything about the egg holes and at the end of this video you will have enough knowledge to know how the egg holes work. If you do enjoy this type of content, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel and help me get the attention of the Withering Wave dev. Thank you. First thing first, to get Echoes, you will have to defeat monster. If you're lucky enough, you will see some gold thing around them. And you will be able to capture them like Pokemon. Also, you can even capture World Boss, so put that in mind. To use the ability of the Echoes, you will have to put it in the first slot, as you can see where I am showing. And also, you will see their ability over there. And their own element as well, so read it carefully. Once that done, you will be able to use your echo in battle, like the Pokemon. And each echoes have their own unique ability. Some can heal you, some can help you in the world exploration, and some will help you in battle. Now, if we go to the data bank, you can see that there is a percentage sense of getting the echoes. To level it up, you have to capture as many echoes as possible, and the higher the level is, the higher the rarity is. And I'm gonna show you the rarity of each echo in order. The first one is green. Green echo is the most common. Blue echoes are uncommon. And purple echoes are uh, rare. And the last one, gold echoes are the rarest. I'm pretty sure that you already noticed that there is a cost point in the echoes. The maximum is 12 and each echo has its own cost point. You can see the specific cost of an echoes over here. Also, you can see that there is three categories of echoes cost. One, three, and four. The higher the cost of an echo is, the higher the stat are and the more powerful they are. But you can't equip all four cost echoes. The max is 12, so the best way is to equip 4, 3, 3, 1, 1, equal 12. And this is the best way to get stronger. Also, echoes have its own set. And they give Sonata effect, which can buff your character if you have the same set equipped. I'm gonna show you on the screen all the Sonata effect. Now you can understand all those Sonata effect and what they provide. And you are gonna need five of the same set of echoes to be able to get the maximum Sonata effect. So put that in mind. Now, when you wanna upgrade your echoes, you will need these material. And to get them, you will have to do world exploration or spend your stamina. Once that done, it will say to be tuned. And you will need the material called tuner to unlock the sub stat. And to get that item, you will have to do world exploration or simulation training which will cost you stamina or tacit field challenge which will cost you stamina as well. Once you are able to tune those substat, you will get a random substat as you can see. Now I'm gonna show you all the substat available here in the image. That's all for now. If you did enjoy this content, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel, activate the notification bell on, and tell me in the comment what do you say. And don't forget to follow me on twitch.tv slash dalex. There is where I'm gonna stream most of my gameplay. See ya!